millions of people. And together, we are going to make that difference. Together in November 2014, which is not that far from now, we will change the New York State Legislature for the good. We will make that change. You and I will make that change. That our friends are registered to vote and that we go out and vote next year and turn out of office any member of the state legislature who has voted for the SAFE Act, regardless of their excuses. What hey, pal, I'm going to get a look at the tattoo on the back of your neck. I'm starting to feel no regulated militia. We will as we this today. We will a free state to God the right of the state and bear us from not being Thank you all for coming. Let me coming. see the one on the back of your neck. I like this one even better. Thank you. Fellow YouTuber, Harry, what's your screen name? Excuse me, Jake yeah. Jones. Jake Jones, right. Good to meet you, Gary. You. I want to introduce to you someone that, that you all know. He's a man that's widely respected, especially in our effort. Uh, he came from a long way away to see us today and to join us. And I'm sure we'll show him that respect. Thank you. Uh, it's Sheriff Mack. Sheriff Joe Arpaio says hello, New York. All right. Sheriff Joe, yes. We're trying to create more Sheriff Joes all across the country. Uh, you know the ones that kind of stand and do what's right. Now, if we stand and do what's right today, we will repeal the SAFE Act of New York. And, and I, no, but seriously, I came here for two reasons. I came here because I wanted to meet Judge Janine, and I wanted to hear her speak. That's really one of the reasons, seriously, that's honestly one of the reasons I came. The other one, the other reason I came was, I had to see for myself, is the state of New York really trying to pass a law that would make you a felon if you annoyed a cop? Okay, well, anyway, I can't believe we're doing this kind of lunacy, and I can't believe that we passed a law called the SAFE Act. Let me remind everybody what the SAFE Act does. It makes criminals out of law-abiding citizens. How does that make you safe? Come on. Well, I, I, I really wanted to keep this short. I normally never do that. <laughs> And I mean never, but I really want to hear from the judge. And I, I believe that the message you will hear today is one of liberty and freedom, and that we work together locally with our sheriffs and our chiefs of police. Most of the cops in this state don't support you being a felon if you call them a dirty name. Most of the cops do not support the SAFE Act. Most of the cops and the sheriffs of this state do not support gun control. And you know what? I, I spoke earlier inside the Capitol, and there's some real good legislators here. There's some real good sheriffs here. And you know, I love New York. I really do. And my family and I come here all the time. She's promised us that she's with us. A thousand percent. I give you Janine Pirro. Thank you. Thank you. I have to tell you, I haven't been in Albany in years. But I'm glad to be here today with you. citizen. I have been a prosecutor. I have been a judge. I have been a DA. I have been in the trenches fighting the bad guys for 30 years. 
And as far as She's I'm concerned, there. Yeah, it's the there. bad guys that we have to go after and not my Second Amendment rights. Yeah. Now, it all started for me when the Journal Excuse News decided to out legal gun owners like me in a pedophile-like map. Judges, DAs, prosecutors, corrections officers, retired police officers, battered women in hiding who've gotten orders of protection, jailers, and now the inmates know where their families live. They put us in jeopardy. And when we asked, why did you do that? They said that they thought in the aftermath of the Newtown shooting that it was important to identify people who had guns. I'm going to say it again. In the aftermath of the Newtown shooting, we think it's important to identify legal gun owners.